Hello and welcome to another video. I realize the, the irony is not lost on me that this is a video, but <laughs> anyway, the title of this video is please don't take screenshots of text. I'm going to go over why uh, as well as show you an example. I'm not trying to pick on this person. They, they were just the easy example, easiest example for me to find to demonstrate this. Uh, but anyway, okay, so <laughs> the cool thing about text uh, is it's really easy to search. It's really easy to copy and paste. And you can view it in whatever accessibility options or font size or any of those sorts of things that you want. Whereas if you post it as an image, uh, it's really hard for other people to find the exact same issue that you're running into. I'll give you an example up here. This person did a really good job of, uh, of pasting all of the information that's necessary, both to find this issue and to figure out what the problem is. So instead of like taking a screenshot of this, it's really easy for people to say, you know, let's say we grabbed this error message and searched for flake eight, uh, we should land exactly on this issue here. And so anyone else that runs into that same issue can track back to this. Uh, there's actually a few others that are, are similar ones and you know people can find the exact error message. Uh, but if it's stuck in an image, you're not gonna be able to find this. The other thing that's a little bit unfortunate about this screenshot here is it cuts off at the beginning. Uh, and this is another example where the person who made the original issue did a really, really good job here. They included the exact command that they ran. That way, the, the maintainer, or, or well, the maintainer's me, but uh, <laughs> the, someone else looking at this issue can run the exact same commands that they ran to find exactly the same output. And uh, basically, it basically makes it a lot easier to debug. Uh, but yeah, that's that's basically the reason. You can search for it. I can copy and paste it to rerun it myself. I can view it in whatever font size or screen reader or contrast or whatever accessibility options that I want. Uh, but anyway, hopefully you found this useful. If there are additional things you'd like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.